Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I actually am being blinded right now, but I'm not complaining. I'm actually in Dubai. Right now, I escaped England, the cold England, and I'm in Dubai. It's so nice, the view is actually insane. It's a bit foggy this morning, but the view is actually incredible, and it's so nice. We're staying at the Atlantis on the Palm, um, and it's insane. We actually got here a few days ago, um, but I've only just started vlogging now. This part of the video is actually kindly sponsored by Air Up. And if you don't know Air Up, because I have spoken about them before, they literally change the scent of water by using, by basically like manipulating your brain in a way. They literally change the flavour of water by air. Like, it's the weirdest thing, but it's so sick. These balls are so good because if you're not really a fan of water, which is like me, which is, I bought this on holiday because when I'm on holiday, I don't know about anyone else, but I literally do not drink water. Like, I always get like cokes and stuff, and it's just not good. Um, and obviously, you need to stay hydrated when you're in the sun. So, I brought air up with me because it will literally help me to keep drinking water and it will taste nice so if you don't really like water like me this is actually the perfect thing for you um so they actually create the flavors without you having to absorb any like unnatural chemicals sweeteners or like additives is that how you say it because the flavor is literally created through your smell and i'll show you how so we had these little pods so i have watermelon these are my favorite ones um and then i've got apple apple's like my top one um, and then this one is passion fruit and peach and um, these are like my top flavors So I brought them ones on holiday with me. Okay, so basically you get your ball and you fill it up with water Okay, so you get your water and then this bit comes off and you fill your water You can literally be still or sparkling whatever you prefer and then you just push this back on um, and then you get your pod I'm gonna try water because I haven't tried that one before. Okay, and then it's on here so basically the shape is the same as the shape on here so you can see it clearly and then you push it down and then if you push it all the way down it's basically not activated so you have to pull it up a bit wiggle it up just to like there and then that means it's activated and then literally taste a watermelon it's actually crazy um and then you also have a little lid I literally take these everywhere with me. I take them to school. I take them to school, but then when I take them to school, all my friends want to try it. And I basically end up having, like, no water. So I have to keep on filling it up. So literally a lifesaver. So if you want to check them out, there's a link in the description below. This is not another water ball like this. And so I definitely recommend it. Go check it out. And, yeah. Okay, ignore my hair. It looks really greasy because I put sun cream on it. Um, it's because I... I burnt my scalp and it's really painful so I put more sun cream in so it won't burn. But we're on the beach and we're going on these. What are they called again? E foil. E foil and jet board thingy. Yeah, so this one goes faster but it's not as fun apparently because this one makes you feel like you're flying but obviously it's like above the water, it hovers, hovers above it. Um, but I feel like it's going to be really difficult but hopefully we'll get the hang of it. I was complaining about my life jacket because it's one that zips up and then I turned around. Now I feel no need to complain. And it's the smelly one as well. <laughs> it's bright orange. Oh, we definitely we'll spot you from a mile away, mate, on the oh, sea. It just keeps getting better and better. Grace has actually got the right one because it has like black and grey. On water sports and then it'll like get rid of the water. Cool, if you want to be humbled, just put a helmet and a life jacket on. This suite is amazing. It's the best suite in the Atlantis and Kim Kardashian actually stayed in it. But if you want to see a full tour of all the rooms, because it's huge, um, then check out my dad's vlog on Bad Big Girls. This is like the main bit and it's actually insane. Okay, I haven't had to vlog on my phone because I forgot my camera. Typical. But we're on the boat and we're going on like a little tour and then we're doing the um, sofa thing, which is... Oh, it goes really fast and then you sit on it and then you basically get flung off that's the word so yeah on the boat now i didn't really talk about um the what's it called the water thing i went on um but obviously i put in that clip of me doing it and it was actually like really hard at first like i could i could stand up and then i was just going along and obviously it was just on the water 
And then I was just like, am I doing it right? Because I, everyone says it's meant to feel like you're flying. It doesn't feel right. And then like I picked up a bit of speed. And then the whole thing's like going up, yeah. But it kept on going like this, like up like this, yeah. And then I was like, okay, I'm definitely not doing something right. And then obviously it'd come back down and it'd literally go under the water. And then when it actually picked up, I was like, oh my God, like this is mad. And then it would, when it'd go back in the water, like the tip of the board would go under the water. And then obviously I'd fall off. But um, but then I realised that to stop it from going like that, if I just lean back, then it stays up. So the guy was like, you go up in the air and then you come back down and you go back up. Like that's kind of how you do it. And then when I started like, realizing that how you do it it was actually the sickest thing like ever and then um i got the hang of it and then when i got off the guy was like oh so what sports do you do and i was like like nothing he was like no no no, seriously what sports do you do i was like i know nothing he was like oh my god he was like that was perfect he was like you were just a quick learner i was like yeah to be fair i pick up things quite quickly like once i understand what i'm doing then i can that's like the thing with like i don't know kind of things like that i don't want to sound like a pick me girl but like sometimes i do pick up things quite quickly like i'm a fast learner but yeah so it was actually sick and then obviously we went on the thing on the back of the boat and when i tell you i was like i'm not gonna hold on because it makes it more fun and i literally flew in the air and then came straight back down and landed on holly and like, flander um but yeah and that was really really fun um and the other day we did jet ski and and i got to ride the jet ski by myself because like now i'm 16 you're allowed to drive it by yourself and it was so sick like i was standing off and like it literally goes like this along the waves and like flies over the waves. It was so sick, um, but I really enjoyed it. Okay, so today is a very exciting day. We're on our way to the desert because we're going to do like either the quad bikes or the gym buggies. We're not sure yet. Um, and then we're also going to do like the thing where you slide down on the... I don't know what the it sand, is. The hills. Yeah, like but the it's like you're on. Oh, a skate, it's like a skateboard with no wheels. It's a sandboard, that's it. Sandboard. Um, and we're also. Are we riding the camels? Yeah. We're doing that as well, so and it's very exciting. Dinner, dinner and a dance show. Yeah, so and it's a, a lot going on. Yeah. Chloe and Sophie, are you excited? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we are the... There's so many quad bikes. Yeah. Wait, what was the first thing you saw when you woke up? Outside the window. What was it? Camels. Camels. Was camels. That was the first thing. Because <laughs> she wouldn't wake up, and then I went, Oh, look, there's Ooh. camels. And there's another one. More camels. You know, I'm going to ride one. I don't want. The little one. Yeah. We're going on the quad bikes and they actually look sick. Oh my god, we just took the quad bike and it was actually the sickest thing. It was actually really scary though because like there's but there's like other quad bikes coming at you from all different directions and that actually makes it quite scary. But overall, 10 out of 10 experience and it was actually sick and yeah, there was at one point, me and dad went to go up like a hill, but it didn't have enough boom, and then we just got stuck like near the top, but not at the top, and then this guy had to come and help me put it like in reverse, and stuff. they didn't show you how to put it in reverse, but like he had to help me get down. Oh my God, me and dad went on the doom buggies, and it was so sick, you literally, it's better than the um, quad bikes, like you literally go flying over the hills and then dad rode it for a bit and then i rode it rode it is that the right word yeah um and i just like put my foot down the whole time and it was sick and then we did nearly tip over though okay we're driving more into the middle of that desert and um it goes like it's a really bumpy well, i think it's quite fast ride so he's sitting in between me and mum are you scared or are you excited um, no, I'm trying to What? I stopped. Okay. Oi. No, no, no. Whoa. This place is sick. That was 
Oh my Well, we just we took pictures on the sand and then we slid down it on the sandboard thing and it was so sick. And, and, and the sand went in her mouth. Maddie's not happy. We're driving back to the camp where we're gonna have dinner and we're gonna have a barbecue. And look at the sun at the moment. It's I need to get it. Oh, just Why got mum's face. Yeah. I know, like, I'm trying to move out of the way. <laughs> oh, I missed it, but it's literally just Here. orange. Yeah, yeah. Oh, got it. And then we're also going to ride camels. You Chloe's going to ride a camel. Yeah. We're going to go ride the camels now. We actually only ride it for like two minutes or something. Me and Chloe are getting in the queues for the camels. Look how nice the sunset looks. So pretty. We're literally about to get on the camels now. Oh my God, Chloe's going on as well. <laughs> Look at Casey, she looks really comfortable. <laughs> okay, so I did the camera ride. Me and Chloe did it together. And Chloe, was it scary? You didn't really like it. When he you? goes up and down, his legs move up and, it, and, it, and the back leg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at them, they crying. <laughs> No, so basically, when it goes up, it puts its two legs up first, and so that tips you back. And then, like, when it puts its back legs up, it tips you forward. And then it was fine getting up, but like, basically, there's a handlebar in front of you, and then Chloe sat in front of me, and then there's a handlebar. So I held onto her handlebar so that I had her in between my arms, and then obviously it went up and everything. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So then it. Obviously, it was fine getting up and everything, and then you went on the camel ride, like you walk around, and then the camel behind us was like literally next to that. Its head was next to Chloe's face, wasn't it? Chloe, the other camel's head was next to your face, and I just went, Chloe, look next to you, and she just looked and she said, I don't like it, I don't like it. And then you got sand in your mouth or something, or you didn't like what you were. Um, and then it was fine, so we got the picture, um, and then when it was going down, like, it literally, so my mum told me to sit up more, so I sat up more, so I had one hand on my handlebars and one hand under Chloe's arm, and when it stood up, it literally threw me forward, like I was this close to falling off, like I'm not even joking, and then Chloe started crying because she didn't like it. Oh my god, it's lit the stage on fire. We left the other place early because Sophie was not liking it with all the lab music, it was a bit too overwhelming for her. So we're going back to the hotel now. And Chloe's nicked my phone. Okay, we came hey back guys, to the hotel. So go away. We came back to the hotel for food. Haha, -ha, you got it wrong. Um, and we came to the wave house. Mum, <laughs> get your hands off my food, bro. And we come to the wave house for some food. And I got onion rings. Look how good they look. And then I also got big egg bolognese. It has cheese in it, but I think if I mix it in, I won't be able to taste it, so it's fine. No. Oh my god. Best onion rings I've ever had. I'm not even joking. Whoa. We're going to the beach to watch the sunset. No, we're not. And I'm wearing this white shirt with this cherry skirt, which is from Jaded London. Outfit of the. Got this skirt on. Cherry skirt, white shirt. So be best too. And a bit of a wet hair. Look. I thought you were going to dress nice. Like. Sorry, say that, say that I again. Didn't say Sorry. I didn't say Sorry, say that again. I didn't say I was going to dress nice. I actually wouldn't do more to come and double it. It'll be nice, come on. Okay, so the sunset's finished. Um, we didn't actually get to watch it. Um, but because it's actually sunset at 5.40, um, but it's still really, really pretty. We just didn't get to watch it go down. But I'm still gonna take pictures here because it looks really nice, like all the pinks and stuff. We've come to Asia Asia for dinner because it's literally so recommended in Dubai. Sid, um, I saw that she went to the Dubai and then I asked her to recommend me some stuff. And she said that, Asia Asia is a must and then Mary from Love Island also came here the other day which I saw on her Instagram story 
So we've come here and I've changed outfits because the other one was more of a beach vibe and this is quite a fancy restaurant and so I've gotten this, especially jeans in the evening because it gets a bit chilly. We literally couldn't find the restaurant anywhere. We went, we walked everywhere, we walked into the mall, everything. And then we found out that it's in another building, which is why we couldn't find it. This view literally looks like a green screen. It's actually insane. And Grace always nicks to see with the view. Like last time she did it as well. And I don't think it's very fair. Guys, so nice. Basically, we're not getting like our actual own dishes. They're just gonna bring out all the best sellers. I'm really excited. It sounds really good. So they bring out was it sushi to start, right? Because Grace is vegetarian, she is. Yeah, and um, I asked for egg And we also both like we all like sushi. So you need to cut me up when I speak. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting egg fried rice. It's a special request. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this place. Looks really, really good. We got these mocktails. I'm I don't know what it is, but me and Grace are gonna try it. Grace, you can go first. Why do you always like bite it as it's crunchy? Like a strawberry milkshake. Mm. That's nice. That's really good. Okay, so as it starts, we have some edamame. <laughs> I'm always hesitant on saying it, but this is my dad and Grace's favourite. And I do actually like them. I think they're nice. What sauce is it? Maybe that like soy sauce kind of. I love these though, they are good. Okay, so I'd like to switch, pictures, switch places with you so I can get pictures, please. <laughs> We've done the wrong one. Ah, karma. Switch with me. Them. Dad. Guys, this is like a half an hour process, if not full five minutes. <laughs> We're taking the same picture and saying, I like it, I like it, I like it. I'll take five pictures. That's it. Oh my god. This is insane. Alright, got it. It looks well good. There you go. Thank you so much. We went for the duck one first. Bang him. So oh, good. So good. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, you little pescatarian. Nice. nice. Some calamari. Oh, oh nice. I love that. You know our favourites. Yes. Well. <laughs> demolished it all it was so so good honestly best food i've ever had so we have uh, some fruit uh cheesecake mochi and uh chocolate fondant oh wow thank you so much thank you. these are like little moons i love coconut ice cream <laughs> seriously <laughs> i can't get it back off i'm sorry i should have been so good guys if you come to buy Asia, Asia. 100%. Not an ad, just amazing. <laughs> right, we need to get up to here, so we were jumping over the railing. My mum's got wedges on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> if you actually made it to the end of the vlog, then I actually congratulate you because I don't even know what that was. I literally just filmed the most random clips and then just chucked it all together. Um, and I try and call myself a YouTuber. Vlogging is new to me, alright, as you can tell. But thank you for watching it anyways. Um and yeah, see you later. Bye.